Okay, so I have a friend that asked me to cast um, this little uh, head of his. He sculpted he sculpted this out of clay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first uh, he wants me to make a resin cast of this. So what I'm gonna first do is make a mold. So now that I have this uh, piece right here, I used um, everyday Legos and created a little box to hold my um, silicon. <clears throat> Over here I have bits and pieces of old mold which I'm going to use as filler and what this does is this helps keep you know the cost of using too much of the uh, raw silicon. So I'm going to start is I'm going to mix up a batch of the silicon and this stuff needs to be mixed by weight so according to the bottles the weight is about uh, 1 to 10. So 10 parts of this, 1 part of this. So I'm going to pour in a small amount. of this first part of the silicon and then I'm gonna get a paper towel so I can wipe some of this stuff off Now I'm going to pour in the activator. Again, keeping in mind that this is 10 at a ratio of 10 to 1, so one part of the activator. You usually want to shake up the activator and make sure you know it's thoroughly mixed and make sure that the activator is not separating. So you, uh, this has a fairly short shelf life, maybe about six months or so. So if you're going to cast, you should, uh, or if you're going to make molds, you should keep that in your head. So this is relative about 10%. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. And you want this thoroughly mixed well. Now I'm going to go ahead and, well, first of all, I'm going to cap this off. Then I'm going to, I have a piece of uh, silicon in there already that I'm just going to use as a small base. I'm going to carefully put the head in so that it has some room around all sides. Make sure that and I'm gonna start sticking little bits and pieces of filler in there just so I use less silicon Won't shut up. <sighs> when my little 
little bits of res uh, silicon in there. I'm just going to go ahead and pour in the silicon. So carefully, slowly pour in just to make sure everything gets filled in. Hopefully I have enough silicon to fill this mold. Start sticking a couple of bits of filler in there. And you can see that there's little bubbles that are forming. Now what I do next is um, <clears throat> I will then put this entire assembly into a pressure pot. And what that will do is that pushes uh, air into this pressure pot pressurizing this, uh, this mold. And what that does is that forces all the little air bubbles that are, that's in the liquid to come out. And it gives you a cleaner, cleaner mold. Now this could be done without the pressure pot, but what I found is that with the pressure pot, um, I usually get cleaner molds, and um, I won't. the The end end product is a lot lot better. Now if I didn't have a pressure pot, I have to sit there and you know carefully make sure most of these bubbles that slowly come to the surface are popped. Now there's plenty there's still plenty of bubbles under inside the mold so the pressure pot should help remove those bubbles. I'm gonna slide my workbench over. And uh turn my pressure pot over. Basically, I'm just gonna pop this in here and have this connected to my uh, my uh, airbrush compressor, and I'm just gonna seal this up. And then pressurize the pot by turning on my airbrush compressor. So this will fill up and I'll just let this sit here uh, for it to cure overnight. And this takes, this will have to cure overnight for the silicon to fully harden up.